I believe, O oh Lord, and confess that you are verily the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Πιστεύω, Κύριε, και ομολογώ ότι εσύ αληθώς ο Χριστός, ο Υιός του Θεού, που έρθαν εις τον κόσμο, σώσε αμαρτωλούς, ενάμεσα τους οποίους είμαι εγώ πρώτος. Αγαπητοί μου χριστιανοί, αδερφοί και αδερφές, my beloved Christians, brothers and sisters, Χριστός Ανέστη, Every time I hear that beautiful prayer just said before, my heart sort of skips a beat, wondering each time, and we celebrate many liturgies and during the week and on Sundays, wondering if I really, really understand and believe and hold myself responsible as the first among sinners. It's a good idea. It's a good place to put ourselves because then we are able to avoid that terrible, terrible demon, that terrible, terrible sin, that ferocious animal called condemnation that visits each and every one of us to some certain degree and we want to condemn other people. We want to criticize other people. But you see how Christ has preserved us he taught us that beautiful prayer that comes from the words of the Apostle Paul, who considered himself, although he considered him the greatest, one of the greatest of the apostles, of the saints, and yet he considered himself first among sinners. The Pharisees came to Christ today, having heard that he made a man from birth who was blind, born without eyes. Not only was he blind, he was aomatos, he didn't have eyeballs. And the Pharisees heard that he gave him his sight. You may sit if you like. I behold that you are very obedient family here. You didn't want to sit on one hand out of respect while I'm speaking, and you were very obedient to sit when I said you could sit. <laughs> <laughs> Our Lord, God, and Savior, Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, second person of the Holy Trinity, ever and always with the Father and the Holy Spirit together, the same, undivided, healed that man and gave him his sight. He must not been, have been too old because his parents were still living. In fact, the Jews were so upset about this thing, they were so jealous, they were so besides themselves with condemnation. They went and asked the parents, are you sure this is your son? Are you sure he was born blind? The foolishness. This gospel pericope is shared with us today and every year in this Sunday of the Blind Man after Holy Pascha to remind us of the lowness, the loneliness, the depths to which man can fall if he is not careful to keep humility. The Pharisees even wanted to accuse Jesus of doing good and doing work on the Sabbath. Oh no, the Sabbath, you shouldn't do anything. Foolishness. Keeping the letter of the law, but forgetting the spirit of the law. The spirit of the law is love. And in order for us to have true, pure, unadulterated love, we must seek humility. And it is therefore we read this prayer before we receive Holy Communion, the divine life-giving mysteries, the very body and blood of Christ, we say before, I believe, in, O Lord, and confess that you are verily the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. <laughs> 